welcome to another video on tech tips from CMM XYZ. Today, let's discuss about a basic 3 to 1 alignment and why an alignment is done. Before we start aligning the path, let's understand why should we align the path to the CMM. When an object moves in free space, it has 6 degrees of freedom, 3 translational and 3 rotational. Initially, when the part is placed on the CMM, the part is equivalent to an object moving in free space. In this case, it's inside the volume of the CMM. When the machine is homed, CMM establishes a machine startup axis. At this point, CMM has no idea where the part is in the machine volume. This means the part is moving inside the volume of the machine with 6 degrees of freedom. In order to make the machine understand where the path is, we have to restrict all 6 degrees of motion by aligning it to the path. This will shift the coordinate system from the machine home position to the path. Now let's create features for the alignment. We have different ways to create features, but I'll be using measured features in this video. Keeping the CMM in manual mode and screen in program mode, let's go ahead and create a plane. Let's take three points on datum A to create a plane. Press end to create the feature. Now let's take two points on datum B to create a line. and a point on datum C. Let's create an alignment using these features. Before we do that, let's change the names of our features. Let's change plane to datum A, line to datum B, and point to datum C. To open the alignment dialog box, you can go to insert, alignment, new, or you can press Control alt a In the alignment utility box, we can see three features, datum A, datum B, and datum C which can be used for the alignment. When the path is not aligned, in the graphic display window, you can observe that the trihedron moving indicating 6 degrees of freedom. In the alignment dialog box, let's select the plane which is datum A and level it to Z+. Plus. We are leveling it to Z+, plus because the vector of datum A is facing towards the Z plus of the CAD axis. Leveling it to Z plus stops the rotation in Y axis and in X axis. After we level the datum A plane in Z plus, two rotations have been restricted one in x-axis and one in y-axis. There are three translations and one rotation remaining. To stop the rotation in z-axis, let's select the line datum B. As you can see in the graphic display window, the line is pointing towards x plus direction of the CAD axis. So let's rotate to x plus about Z plus. Now there are three translations. Let's stop the translation in Z axis by selecting datum A plane and click on origin. Then let's select line datum B 
to stop the translation in y axis and datum c to stop the translation in x axis now the trihedron has stopped moving indicating the restriction of all six degrees of freedom let's click ok to complete the alignment this was a video on basic 321 alignment thank you for watching the video